I was up in Pennsylvania for a weekend visiting a friend, and we went out to eat to a Mexican restaurant. And that night, everybody was getting sick, and I had such pains in my stomach, so I said, I didn't want to go to the hospital up there, so I came home. And it came out that I had peptic ulcer. I had a Dr. Hawkins here that operated on me, and then I had to follow up with a gastroenterologist. So I went to Dr. Deep. She said, uh, when was the last time you had your uh, colonoscopy? I said, well, she said to me, well, I guess we're gonna do an up and a down. So when I was 68 years old, it was my first colonoscopy. So the current recommendation actually is that you should be screened at 45, which has changed in uh, 2018. Um, and it's that we see a fair number of patients who don't get their first screening colonoscopy until after you know the recommended date. The endoscopy went okay, and uh, she came out and she said, I have some news to tell you. I said, why? She said, you have cancer. On that colonoscopy, she was found to have a mass in her splenic flexure, which ultimately turned out to be cancer. That was the day it started. After that, I met Dr. Bonomo. Her tumor was located in the splenic flexure, which is where the transverse colon makes the turn by the spleen uh, to become the descending colon. We were able to use the Da Vinci robot to minimally invasively remove the colon in this location and that tumor and give her a new anastomosis, new connection within the colon. Using the, the robot is beneficial particularly for her because she had previous abdominal surgery and scar tissue that the robot assisted with us in order to be able to manage that and still perform the surgery uh, minimally invasively. When I first met him, I felt very confident with him. Everybody said to me, I should go to the city and I'm thinking, why do I have to go to the city? I'm very confident with the surgeon I have here in Staten Island. I looked on the phone and I saw he was associated with the hospital in Manhattan anyhow. I think uh, Eileen's case highlights what we're trying to do here with our program. She came in through our gastroenterology colleagues. She underwent her screening there. She was handed over directly to us because we work very seamlessly with gastroenterology um, and oncology. And I think it's important uh, to have a program like this. And from that day forward, I'm, I'm just hoping everything goes fine for the years after that I'll be with Dr. Bonomo. I guess I was blessed that day. <laughs>